Hi, Noah. Hey, Noah. Noah Bussett, how are you doing this morning? <laughs> we are so good. We're doing we are fabulous. Excited. This is a big day. Yes. I know. How cool is this? First off, happy Pride Month, happy I must Pride. say. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So this is a big day, like you said, for both of y'all. You know, are you the one it premieres tonight? Tonight's oh the night. We're just so <laughs> excited because it's the first time, can you believe it, the first time in the history of U.S. television that a sexually fluid cast gets to have a dating show. I know. How cool and is that? MTV. I mean, I know. Uh, on one of the best networks in the planet. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Life changing, mm -hmm. honestly. Life changing. So, I mean, and, and that's, I mean, I think this is great because this is, I, I feel like it's gonna make, this is making history, right? I mean, Absolutely. this is the first. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I remember while we were in the house, I was like, I would be, if I, the first couple of days, I was like, I would be sitting at my house with a bag of popcorn just watching this. Uh, right. I could watch this all right. day. Yeah. Oh my it's God, It's just yes. so entertaining. And I think, you know, in a, in a big way, it's about representation. Representation is just so mm -hmm. important. And to, for little kids, older people, people across all spectrums to see themselves represented and reflected, it cha it helps. It helps the society grow to see themselves represented, especially on a mainstream platform. Uh -huh. So we are just so lucky to have this opportunity. Yeah, and you'll see yeah. throughout like different spectrums, and you'll see different personalities coming out and people from just different cultural backgrounds and everything like that, just coming all together on this show and being able to express ourselves and being so open and honest about everything. It's just so incredible to be a part of, honestly. Yeah, and too, like you were saying, you know, I, I think it, I think it's great to see shows like this because it shows to others that maybe are struggling or, you know, wanting to come out or, or whatever, you know, that, hey, it's okay and this is a show that, you know, you can watch to kind of, you know, get through it or kind of to um, see or witness some of the things that maybe they're going through, you know, oh. by watching it. Yeah, of oh. course. Fans will get to see coming out moments on the show to discovering their sexual and gender identity. So Nora and Bussett, I want you to share with our audience, how was it like for you growing up as a kid and when did you know it was the right time for you to come out to your family or friends? See, my, my journey to finding myself was long because I grew up in like r rural Texas and mm -hmm. I had uh, I have more conservative background where I didn't necessarily feel comfortable or able to be myself, and it really wasn't till I took the big leap to New York where I was able to just completely submerse myself in a culture that I had always known I belonged to, which was the fluid culture, the gender fluid culture, and the sexually fluid culture. I don't I don't ever feel like I had any limitations to who I was attracted to or who I was who like how I identify in terms of my gender. I'm non-binary, so I don't really fit as fit into a binary of boy or girl. My gender is fluid, my sexuality is fluid, and so I think that it took a long journey, but once I got there, I have never been more happy to live my life every day and to and to affect positive change because when people see me they can see that I'm free of any mm -hmm. restrictions. Uh, so for me, growing up in a Middle Eastern household, it mm -hmm. was difficult for me to express that part of me. I feel like I was scared to say anything because it's just not very common amongst that uh, culture and that region. It's not really common to come across, um, you know, a, an individual that's sexually fluid. So I felt like I, that's something that I had to, I felt like I had to suppress it pretty much a good chunk of my life. And then as I got older and I started to realize a lot more, I was just like, I can't live my life trying to please other people. I can't do this to myself. Like I did everything like behind closed doors. You know, I never really spoke about it. I never really talked about it with um, many people. I had like a selected few best friends that I would talk to them about it. But other than that, I never really was open about it. And until I, I reached an age where I'm just like, you know what, I don't, care i don't care anymore yeah. i'm I, I need to be authentic and real to Live myself i need to be true and honest to myself and i have to just be completely 100 percent accepting of myself so once i realized that i, I man i let it go i flew like a Live. bird <laughs> it was just yeah, yeah it was it was amazing from that point on like i was just so confident in everything so yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. 
nor bust it. All I have to say is living the truth. It will set you free. Wow. Right? Absolutely. Come on now, preach on. Uh -huh. You better preach. <laughs> Ooh Come on. <laughs> so, you know, to, to everyone that comes across or watches the show, you know, what do you hope that they understand from watching this? And what do you hope they will really take away when they watch this show? You know what? I hope that everyone who watches the show take away that LGBTQ plus people are just like them. Yes. We are all the same. We yeah. all love hard. We all have dramatic moments. We all have mess in relationships. We all have, we all fall under temptation. We all are complex individuals. And I think that this is going to be one of the most relatable pieces of television that yes. has ever existed because it's showing what it is like to be a human. It's just a show about the human experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I am yeah. looking forward to the season premiere tonight. Are you the one? It premieres at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on MTV. So be sure to catch it every Wednesday on MTV. Thank you, yeah. Nora and Bussett, for joining me this morning. It was a pleasure to speak with you both. And congratulations on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so much Likewise, for having Nora. us. Have Thank a good you. one. Yes, thank you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.